What's going on YouTube? Kyle Kim coming at you with another Final Fantasy Rocket Keeper Relic Draw video. If you're enjoying this, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share your support. Anyway, today, um, unexpectedly, the Riku event started. I wasn't expecting it to start uh, this soon, um, although I didn't really pay attention to the notification we got the other day. But without further ado, let's take a look into my favorite Final Fantasy X characters banner. Alright, so first up, we have the Buster Claw, which changed Riku's Soul Break to Hazardous Shell. It's got 135 attack, which is quite nice. Uh, interestingly enough, it is considered a uh, fist weapon. I mean, I guess that's alright. Um, I don't... What were they considered? They were considered claws in Final Fantasy X, so I guess, yeah, fist would be similar. Um, like I said, 135 attack is not bad. Pretty decent. And uh, deals physical damage to all targets with a moderate chance to sap them. Now, that's quite nice. Um, the only thing is, it's really similar to Vaughn's um, initial soul break, uh, White Whirl. I'm fairly certain. Um, so this is a fist, so not too many characters can equip it. I know Gilgamesh definitely can. Um, but he could also probably equip Vaughn's sword. I don't even know if this is more powerful or if Riku's stats or attack is higher than Vaughn's. I don't think it is. But I do like Riku. Uh, this seems like an interesting weapon. Um, not something I would, you know, go out of my way to pull for, but if I get it, I get it, you know? Next up, we have the Shiranui for Auron, who changes his, um, Soul Break to Shooting Star. Um, its attack is 136, so that's, that's pretty good, I think, I think Sephiroth's, uh, Yoshiyuki is only 137 at max. I don't remember, uh, so don't quote me on that. What to deal three successive physical attacks on one target with a moderate chance to paralyze it. Now, this does sound quite good, except if you have Death Claw for Gilgamesh, this is literally the same thing. Um, except for Auron. Um, all right, thanks, Twitter. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, do 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 do. What was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah, this is literally Death Claw for Gilgamesh. Um, shooting Star in. What did it do? I can't remember. Thanks, YouTube. Alright, I'm turning those notifications off after after I finish recording this. This is ridiculous now. Literally every time I record one of these. Uh, I don't remember exactly what Shooting Star did in... Um... In Final Fantasy X, but... Uh... I don't think... I, re I really... Was, it, was that his first one? Shooting Star, was that his first uh, Soul Break? No, a Dragon Fang was... Hit all enemies. Doesn't matter. It's it, like I said, Death Claw. That's it. I mean, Orin does get a lot better soon because he he will be able to um, tauntalate. But outside of that, I don't really don't think that weapon's that good. Anyway, we have the All Arounder again. Um, most of you already know my thoughts on the All Arounder since I just pulled it. Um, it's an all right weapon. Uh, limited usage because like four characters can use it. Although now we have Riku introduced, she can use it as well. Um, I like the Soul Break a lot, personally, um, because I use Waka as, like, I just use Waka a lot as my go-to support character. Now I'm going to use him even more because I have this. Uh, again, it's one of those Soul Breaks where if you have it, you know, it's good, but if you, like, I wouldn't suggest pulling on it, especially on this banner, because this banner doesn't seem all that good. Next up, we have the Magistral Rod, an okay relic, um... Again, I really just, literally just went over this last event. Uh, 118 Magic, 130 Mind, uh, AoE Holy. Again, like, that's, that's decent. Um, it's a single hit, so that's obviously not the best. Uh, this is obviously not as good as her Lullaby Rod. Wait, why is it called a Lullaby Rod? Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's a decent rod, just the Soul Break isn't all that good. Okay, next up, we have the Warrior's Bracer. Changes thing to Warrior's Ward. gets Protega to all allies. Um, you guys already know how I feel about Protega. Like I said, it's good. Uh, this is a nice relic to have if you don't already have Protega. Even if you have Protega, it's still a decent relic to have on um, in case you run out or, you know, you don't want to wait till your White Mage's next turn or something to that effect. So, this is, this is decent. Not the best, but, you know, not the worst. Mage's Staff. Uh, I think this is the AoE Heal. Yeah. Uh, 124 mind isn't bad. 105 magic, decent uh, stats for a rod actually. Or is this a staff? This is a staff. Yeah, that's more money. So this is a staff. Decent stats. Um, again, AOE heal is quite nice, and it's even better that it's on a rod as opposed to like a helm or something. I think uh, because this will you'll be benefiting more because this has a uh, quite a high mind stat um, to contribute to your white mage. 
Thief Blade, we already know how much I dislike this weapon. Slittery Tempo Flurry. Um, if you pull this, I'm sorry. Not much else I can say. Variable Steel, the generic weapon at the end of each banner, or one of the uh, generic weapons. Uh, 128 attack isn't bad. Um, outside of Synergy, though, you definitely won't be using this all that much. The Albed Jumper. Um, I kind of like the Albed Clothes. It has minor water resistance, which is quite nice. I, I mean, I guess. I don't know. Uh, how frequent water attacks are going to be in this event. I would have guessed quite deep, quite uh, quite frequent if they're giving us this, but I can't be sure. Um, this will... No, no, water resistance. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea if it will help. Anyway, I apologize if um, going over those relics was kind of meh, um, because most of them we, we literally just went over. There's only two new relics here. Um, the majority, like I said, the majority of them we just went through with the Super Soul Break Festival. And now some of them are just entirely garbage, like the variable steel. Anyway, without further ado, let's get our three star and end this video, shall we? Uh, yeah, 100 gems. And I'm quite a bit tired right now, so I apologize if I'm not in the the best of commentary states, I guess. Oh, four star, okay. I don't think I have whatever this is yet. So... That might be decent. Uh, for 12. We do have a 12 event coming up somewhat soon uh, for Pinello, so I guess this will help out quite a bit. I, 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 ironically, I don't think I have too much 12 synergy. Because I used to just get rid of because I used to get hammers instead of spears. I'm like, no one's ever going to use these, so I think I just got rid of the most of them. Oh, well, that sucks now. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to share your support and do enjoy reading all your comments. Be sure to share it with your friends and enjoy following Fishing Record Keeper. And I really would appreciate it if you guys could, uh, you know, drop a like. It really does help me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.